Michael Saylor making new waves with statements regarding MicroStrategy. So Michael Saylor reveals the MicroStrategy endgame to be leading the Bitcoin bank. He started to talk about potentially starting a Bitcoin bank with the amount of Bitcoin that they have accumulated. And the whole strategy of the company, he says that it's scalable and he thinks it's infinitely scalable. I don't see a problem raising 100 billion than 200 billion. He says Bitcoin, it's a $1 trillion asset class going to 10 trillion and maybe even 100 trillion dollars. Don't fade MicroStrategy. And he shared a multiplier of some kind of a link between the price of Bitcoin and the price of MicroStrategy. Note that the current price of MicroStrategy today in middle of October is 219 US dollars. He says that if Bitcoin goes to 75,000, the price of MicroStrategy goes to 306 dollars. If we get 100,000, 392 dollars. 150,000, 1,000 dollars per share for MicroStrategy. 200,000 dollars, 2,000 dollars per share. And if we get to 500 thousand dollars per Bitcoin price of the stock would be fifteen thousand dollars six hundred twenty five dollars as per the projections for micro strategy I personally have a lot of conviction on Bitcoin we are going to get to four hundred thousand dollars one million two million eventually it may take a few cycles to get there but we're going definitely there. I'm behind my crusaders theory that you should not bet against Bitcoin. It's the first ever asset in the world, in history of the world, where we have a finite amount of coins. Even gold is not finite. It's rare, but it's not finite. So we have absolutely no idea how it will progress in price because we have no other asset to compare it with. So this is completely price discovery for the asset itself because we have never had this type of asset in our hands and that's why Bitcoin is so special and that people need to have a little bit in their portfolio I'm not suggesting that you buy it, get informed about it, make your own opinion about it before making any decisions on what to do with Bitcoin. I have been reading, finding all kinds of information about Bitcoin for four years now, and I'm fully convinced. I have not seen any red flags or anything that jumps to me as a really big concern, but I understand that there's a 1% chance or a 0.5% chance that it goes to zero. It's still a risky asset, but its characteristics are so powerful and so rare, and it's the first time we're handling this type of asset that it's very difficult to put a price on it. And on top of that, no government, absolutely, no government can control it, cancel it, stop it, modify it, and it's not part of their system. So Bitcoin is for everybody in the world who wants to be part of a beautiful thing, a peaceful thing, and I think that everyone needs to do their research and select the best time when to look at this asset. I was starting to look at Bitcoin before MicroStrategy started investing or adding Bitcoin to its balance sheet. But once I saw the news that MicroStrategy added Bitcoin to its balance sheet, I quickly 
look into who was behind it and found very quickly Michael Saylor's name and then I started looking at videos of his explanation or his logic behind why they added Bitcoin to the balance sheet and why it was a special asset and from then on I have been reading a lot and it's very powerful that we have software here linked to the internet that it's embedded with mathematics that cannot be modified and again I repeat it's the first ever asset that we have as finite meaning it's a set amount and nobody can modify this and nobody has the incentive to modify this because if they modify it it's going to change the whole structure of value of the asset so no one has the incentive to modify it it has not changed since inception it continues to overperform every single year pretty much or since the beginning of its trading days the performance has been phenomenal it is practically always number one asset out there and it's still fairly unknown only a few people gotta have a great grasp of what it is its value and have started investing in it so everybody who's watching the video or starting to learn about Bitcoin you're you're ahead of a lot a lot of a lot of people and it's going to change how you look at assets because for me what I'm starting to notice is that it's going to be very difficult to sell it because normally when you have an asset and you sell it you have another asset where you want to put your money because you don't want your money idle there losing buying power for long extended periods of time and when you put money in Bitcoin what is the second best asset to put it in at this stage for me is Solana and then it, it's Sui for example but that's it that's my list but I still believe as Bitcoin number one way ahead of Solana so when you have a very special asset like that there's no second best so it's very difficult to sell I'll have to see what my strategy will be about it and I'm trying to accumulate as many Satoshis as I can because I know it's going to get very very complicated very soon as soon as Bitcoin goes above $100,000 it's gonna get crazy and getting to one Bitcoin it's going to be practically impossible for everyone now that institutions are buying Bitcoin it's going to get very very hard and a lot more companies will start adding Bitcoin to its balance sheets and when they do that they don't buy $100 of Bitcoin it's going to be by the millions and some companies maybe even billions so it's gonna go out fast very very fast so the potential here is endless it's a very amazing time to be getting involved in Bitcoin in October of 2024 in the end of 2024 because things are gonna dramatically change for the better for those who invest in assets and those who invest in disruption and those who invest in the best performing assets I know that a lot of people enjoy these quick updates so I'm gonna do just a quick one here on the weekly chart for MicroStrategy so for now we're getting away from the $180 support and also above $200 we're very near all-time high right now so we're going to define consolidation periods support and resistance levels from now on because we are in price discovery the stock went up a little above 1% today 1.48% to be exact so it went up Bitcoin is trying again to go beyond $70,000 but it's still not breaking through but it should be within the next few days that we break that and once we break it MicroStrategy will fly so be ready 
stock is poised to explode in price and we're gonna follow whatever Bitcoin gives us. So enjoy the ride everybody, it's not the time to sell.